What's up everyone, I am Lucky13, thank you for checking out this video and welcome back to the channel. Of course, if you're new here, welcome to you as well. If you do happen to be here for the first time and you enjoy this video, you enjoy my content or you just happen to enjoy my style in general, make sure to hit the subscribe button after the video for future awesome videos. So in this video guys, I want to talk to you about Fallout 4 Special Editions or Collector's Editions, Limited Editions, just bundles, whatever you guys want to call them, what they're doing to Fallout 4. I kind of want to talk about that and I also want to talk about where you can get these editions if you happen to live outside the United States. Uh, because we gotta be honest, unless you're willing to pay some ridiculous shipping and finagle away through whether it's a Facebook or some kind of other social media to get a hold of these, they're very difficult to get a hold of if you don't live in that area. So the first one I really want to talk about is the Pip Boy Edition. I think that's like the king of the special editions right now when it comes to Fallout 4, because that was the one that was announced during the reveal, like the big reveal during E3. They also showed us the stuff about the Pip Boy Edition, which I was just completely blown away by. By you know, as a Fallout fan, I wanted to get my hands on it when I saw it. Like I really felt like. I was that meme. I just wanted to throw. I'm like, just take my money and give me the Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition. So I saw that. We, of course, you have to pre-order if you're a huge fan. Now we see so many shortages in this this Pit Boy Edition that it's already become a problem because July 3rd, and I know it's the beginning of this past month, but July 3rd, the UK actually had their opportunity to pre-order the Pit Boy Edition, and there were limited amounts available. It was ridiculous. I think they started selling them at 9 o'clock and 9 a.m. and before 11 a.m. they were completely sold out. So within two hours they were completely sold out of the Pit Boy Edition, which is you know. That's huge. It's huge for the, you know, 50,000 or so that they sold. So if you're just sitting around and you want to get a hold of one of those Pip-Boy editions, they're damn near impossible to get a hold of, but something with a comparable price is coming from New Zealand. There's a store called Mighty Ape, and it's actually revealed that they will be selling Fallout 4 Mighty Bundles, quote, quote, which include a copy of Fallout 4, whether it's through the PC, the Xbox One, or the PlayStation 4. It also comes with the Fallout 4 history book, like the franchise history of Fallout. And then you also get one of those pop vinyl bobbleheads. It's actually the Vault Boy. So you get you get those three things, and it's for the same price, that 120 You have to be in New Zealand, and you have to get it from the Mighty Ape. That's what it's called. That's what the store is called. So if you find a Mighty Ape and you can get one, that's great. That's one of those additions. But it's not anywhere close to what I would think of a Pip Boy edition, but it's close to the same price. So I'd prefer to have the Pip Boy, the game, and some of the other fancy shit that comes with it versus just having a book and a pop vinyl head or whatever the hell it is. That's not exactly what you're looking for as a gamer. You want some cool shit to attach to your wrist, something you can pass down to your gaming. Never mind. Now the last special edition that I really want to cover with you guys is the Fallout 4 Nuke Pack. And it is coming to you from the same place that that Wasteland Pack came from. No, not Game Traders, but Australia. If you happen to be a resident of Australia, or you can just sweet talk somebody into getting you one, it's not going to run you too much. They're running around 125 bucks, and it's that that's really not a bad price. Again, it comes with a copy of Fallout 4, just like the rest of the special editions do. And you're also going to get that metal book, like we saw with a couple of the past games the metal box that comes with the game that's pretty awesome you also get something really freaking cool it's the vault tech lunchbox fallout 4 edition if you guys remember fallout 3 had a lunchbox similar to that you also get a bobblehead you also get this awesome uh 37 inch by 10 inch print like uh the actual garage that garage that you see in the fallout 4 trailer you get that as well and then of course like i said you get the game and I really do feel like that is the biggest deal. Like, if you're going biggest bang for the buck, and yes, I know I just used like a 70s or 80s reference, don't judge me on that, but if you're going, like, if you're comparing apples to apples, and you're wanting the biggest bang for your buck, I really do feel like the Nuke Pack is the way to go. And I know it's out of touch, I can't go get it right now, I can't run down to my local EB store, because there's not one right around the corner from me, and maybe that's the reason I'm super excited about it, is because I want something that I can't have. That always happens, isn't it? Like, the thing you want the most is the thing that you know you can't have, like, say you're dieting and you want some chocolate cake, and you know you can't have the chocolate cake, so you want it anymore, so you diet even harder. That was like a really terrible metaphor, wasn't it? I mean, oh, what the fuck does chocolate cake have anything to do with gaming? Anyway, guys, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys what I like to call the uh, what the hell are you thinking question. And it's really, really, really easy. I do it at the end of most of my videos. It's what the hell are you thinking? And it's usually about the video that we're just talking about. So this video has been all about special editions. It's been about limited editions, it's been about collector's editions, whatever the hell you wanna call them. Do you think that these special limited collector's editions are taking away from the game? I'd really like to hear your feedback. Me personally, I think that it's nice to have something extra when you buy a game. That's always really cool. But do we really know what the trade-off is I mean you're getting the same game no matter what and you're paying a hell of a lot more for it I mean I did it too so I don't I don't know why the hell I'm getting on to you guys 
But that's not the end of this video, because I would love to see your comments. I would love to see your answers down in the comment section. But what I'd really like from you guys this time around is I'm going to do a little social experiment. It's a YouTube social experiment if you would, you know, if you want to call it that. Um, I know a bunch of you guys watch my videos, and I really appreciate that. But how many of you get to the end of my videos? I mean, a lot of people will watch them, and then about halfway through, I think they just tune out. So if you make it to the end of the video, make sure to hit the dislike button. Don't hit the like button, hit the dislike button. I know it's against your better judgment, but I kind of want to see how many people actually get to the end of my video. Hit the dislike button. So if I see like four people who like my videos, and I got like eight people who dislike my videos, I owe you eight people who dislike this the thanks, because you're actually going all the way through my content, you're watching my entire video, and I really appreciate that. And you four sons of bitches who just show up and hit the like button, I like you too, so just remember that. So it's at this point that I'd really like to answer one of your questions as well, or one of your comments, kind of give your comment a comment. And it was actually messaged to me, which doesn't happen very often, and it was by, um, I don't know, it was, uh, I don't know where it, what it said, but I'll read it out because I don't have who messaged it to me, but I did copy it. It actually says, in Fallout 4, I would love to see side quests, but have a storyline to them. Like when you were mentioning the side quest lines in Skyrim or Oblivion, like the Dark Brotherhood, those quests were crazy fun. Yeah, you could choose which side, Imperials or Storm Stormcloaks. I love the kind of option. The opportunity to create your own faction or gang would be fun. I completely agree with you. I think that having a gang or a faction have multiple companions at one time on Fallout 4 could make you a little bit overpowered, but depending on the area, it could make you a boss as well. I mean, think about that. Just walking into like a, a vault or walking into somebody's faction or area or group or gang with two or three other people in tow and you just demolish everybody. You feel like a god when you're playing Fallout 4. Would it make you feel overpowered? Yes, but at some points, man, they make god mode in games for a reason. Thank you again for checking out my channel, but don't forget, if you did enjoy this video, click that subscribe button to bookmark future videos. Also, if something in this video has sparked your interest, let everyone know by hitting down in the comment section, or you can find me on Twitter and Facebook. You can find me at XXXLucky13, XXX, it's the same as my gamer tag or my YouTube channel name. Until next time guys, I am Lucky13, and I'm out.